Fushiogami is a sacred spot located along the path to the Okusha of Togakushi Shrine, where worshippers can pay their respects to the shrine from a distance. Those who are unable to reach the Okusha due to the steep terrain can bow deeply and pray here, receiving the same blessings. Togakushi Mountain has long been revered as a sacred mountain. In the past, under the influence of Shugendo, mountain asceticism, the area was restricted by Nainin Kinsei, prohibition of women, but these restrictions have been lifted, and now anyone can visit and worship. The Okusha remains a holy site, respected by many visitors today. Welcome to Japan! Today, we will be introducing the second shrine of Togakushi Shrine, Hinomikosho, and the third shrine, CH Sho. Please stay with us until the end. Hinomikosho was founded around the second year of Jetoku, 1098. The main deity enshrined is Aemino Yuzum no Makoto, who performed a dance in front of the Heavenly Rock Cave, along with three other deities. Even during the syncretism of Shinto and Buddhism, the shrine for the god of Mount Togakushi remained purely a Shinto shrine. The Togakushi Daidai Kagura, sacred dance, has been passed down by the shrine's attendants since ancient times and continues to this day. The shrine is revered as the home of the deity of performing arts, matchmaking, and fire prevention. In recent years, many people have come to visit. Within the shrine grounds, there are the famous 500-year-old Miyoto no Sugi, the couple cedars, and the renowned Seiji cherry tree. Hinomikosho is located halfway up the mountain, among the five shrines of Togakushi Shrine. Although it is smaller in scale compared to the other shrines, many people visit due to its spiritual power and sanctity. Hinomikosho is especially visited by those praying for improvement in the performing arts and dance, and it is also said to offer protection against fires. The Miyoto Sugi at Hinomiko Shrine is a pair of cedar trees joined at the base, symbolizing the bond of marriage and family prosperity. The shrine, known for prayers related to matchmaking and safe childbirth, is especially popular among couples. We will now walk from here to the next shrine, Chusho. Togakushi Shrine as a whole is connected to the legend of the heavenly rock cave, Amono Iwato. In this legend, when Amaterasu Omikami, the sun goddess, hid herself in the cave, the gods worked together to open it. At that time, Emino Tajikara no Mikoto threw the rock, and it is said that the rock flew to what is now Mount Togakushi. This is Chusho, the third shrine of Togakushi Shrine. The deity enshrined here is Emi no Yaga Koro Moike no Mikoto. When Amaterasu Omikami hid herself in the heavenly rock cave due to Susanu no Mikoto's repeated misbehavior, this god devised the Iwato Kagura, Daidai Kagura, which ultimately led to the opening of the cave. He is revered for blessings in academic success, prosperity in business, good fortune, protection from misfortune, and family safety. On the ceiling of the shrine is the dragon ceiling painting, restored in 2003, originally painted by the genius artist of the Khan school, Kawanabe Kaisai. Additionally, within the shrine grounds are sacred trees over 700 years old and three cedar trees over 800 years old. The administrative office of Togakushi Shrine is also located here. This shrine has a 2,000-year history and has long been cherished by people as a spiritual power spot. The main deity enshrined here is Emi no Yaga Kuro Moike no Makoto, and it is believed to offer blessings for academic success, prosperity in business, good fortune, protection from misfortune, and family safety. In front of Chusho at Togakushi Shrine, three large cedar trees are arranged in an equilateral triangle, with each side measuring approximately 72 meters. There are various theories about how these trees came to be planted, but here is a summary of a legend associated with them. The full text can be found in the description below. Although it is a somewhat grim story, those interested are welcome to read it. 
The legend tells of a fisherman from Wakosa who captured and killed a mermaid, hiding its flesh. While the fisherman was away, his children found and ate the mermaid's meat. According to an old saying, eating mermaid meat turns one into a mermaid, and the children soon developed scales on their bodies. Distraught, the fisherman received a divine message instructing him to shave his head, become a monk, plant three cedars in an equilateral triangle at Togakushi, and pray for 800 days. The fisherman, now known as Yarobikyo, followed the instructions, planted the three cedars in an equilateral triangle at Togakushi, and devotedly prayed. The crest of Togakushi Shrine is called the Kama Manji, which features four sickles arranged in a swastika pattern. Togakushi Daigongan was originally revered as a deity of water and bountiful harvests, making it a deeply familiar and beloved deity for the Japanese people, who rely heavily on rice as a staple food. Even today, devotees of Togakushi bring rice to offer at the shrine as a continuation of this tradition. The karma, or sickle, used in farming to clear weeds and enrich the soil, became a symbol of the shrine's blessings, which is why it is represented in the shrine's crest, the karma manji. The sacred tree at Chusho is a massive tree, approximately 700 years old, and many are moved by its impressive presence and historical significance. Due to the weakening of the tree's vitality caused by past visitors walking around it, it is now secured with wires to prevent it from falling, and access is restricted. However, its mystical atmosphere continues to attract many people. This waterfall is called Cesari Waterfall. It is also used as a place for purification, where visitors cleanse their hands and pray in front of the waterfall, seeking spiritual purification and divine protection. Additionally, the sound of the waterfall is said to bring peace and tranquility to those who visit. There is also a rumor that having a photo of this waterfall can improve one's financial luck. This is also one of the three cedars, it's quite thick. This is also one of the three cedars, this one is very large. I wanted to get closer, but the rain was so heavy that I couldn't. That's all for today. Next time, I'll cover the remaining two shrines of Togakushi Shrine. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.